Dear friends, welcome to your personalized podcast. Today, we explore the Better Arguments Project, which works to reduce workplace polarization by encouraging open dialogue and understanding. Discover how embracing disagreement through historical context, humility, and awareness of power. Dynamics can lead to innovative solutions and collaborative progress. As the 2024 election approaches, a pressing question emerges. How can we defuse political polarization in workplaces across America? The Better Arguments Project, led by Michael Resler at the Aspen Institute, offers a promising approach to addressing this challenge. Their initiative focuses on teaching healthier ways to disagree, whether at work or in the community, by creating space for open, honest dialogue. In conversations about political values, which often run deep and define who we are, the usual approach has been to come to an agreement. Michael Ressler suggests a different path. Allow people to openly express their disagreements without the goal of winning. When participants enter a discussion with the aim of victory, they miss out on one of the key benefits of debate, which is gaining deeper understanding. The Better Arguments Project offers techniques to facilitate these discussions, emphasizing illumination over triumph. But what's the payoff for participating in such dialogues, if not the satisfaction of winning? Resler points out that the real reward is the ability to tackle significant problems in our democratic society. By coming together to work through disagreements, we can foster progress, which is crucial for the common good. This collaborative spirit is enshrined in the preamble to the Constitution and has historically been achieved through compromise, something that many now view with skepticism. In today's discourse, where rhetoric often revolves around defeating opponents, whether it's owning the libs or crushing political movements, Resler argues for a shift in perspective. Aiming for societal betterment and progress requires reframing how we think about disagreement and conflict. This is especially relevant in workplaces, where the old notion of leaving personal beliefs outside the office has never held true. Creating an environment where employees can engage in constructive disagreement can lead to innovation and better problem-solving. Some companies have recognized the necessity of addressing these issues internally by focusing on shared goals and allowing space for diverse ideas to be challenged. Organizations can foster a culture of your entrepreneurship and collaboration. This approach not only benefits internal dynamics, but also supports companies in engaging with customers and communities who may have differing viewpoints. So, how does the Better Arguments Project guide groups through this process? Resler outlines a three-part strategy. First, understand the historical context of the debate. Second, be aware of your beliefs and those of others, practicing humility and emotional intelligence. Third, recognize power dynamics within the discussion, being mindful of who is speaking and who isn't. By removing the focus on winning, the goal shifts to finding shared solutions, which requires humility, openness, and active listening. This doesn't mean abandoning your values, but acknowledging that in a democracy, progress necessitates a willingness to engage and adapt. In essence, fostering a culture of better arguments involves embracing the complexity of disagreement as a pathway to understanding and change. That wraps up today's discussion on how the Better Arguments Project encourages open dialogue and collaboration to tackle societal issues in the workplace. Stay tuned for more updates. Dear friends, 